Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Tudor Black Bay 58 in the navy blue color. Quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing the Omega Seamaster 300 with the chrome dial and the navy blue bezel on a navy blue zealand strap. So let's jump right into this. All black box, nothing around it, nothing at the bottom. The only type of writing is up top, which has the Tudor logo, the red shield. Let's lift this up. Sort of Rolex style drop down flap, like the box says, Tudor printed right on there. White tissue paper. Let's move this off to the side. So you have the actual box itself. It's a synthetic leather top or a plastic top, Tudor, black Tudor logo. Full wooden base on the box. There you go, here's the writing. Just like the bottom of Rolex boxes and it also has a eight style bottom. Let's jump right into this though. Let me star of the show so here it is the box off to the side for a sec so here we have the black bay in the navy blue color some quick spec details this is the reference number is 79030b the case size is 39 millimeters. The thickness is 11.7 millimeters. The lug to lug, we're looking at 20 millimeters. Or yes, the, the lug width, I'm sorry, is 20 millimeters. And the lug to lug is 47 and a half millimeters. Water resistance is 200 meters. The movement feature in this watch is the automatic caliber MT5402. Features a free sprung balance and a 70 hour power reserve. Take this off the cushion. Real quick. So, this features a oyster style clasp. Same thing as the Rolex Submariner. As a double security feature so it has one closure and then the flip lock right here watch feature ceramic ball bearings on the clasp so the closure right here so smooth and easy to open and that beautiful navy blue dial Watch features a three-piece style oyster bracelet with full rivets on the side. Nice polished swing arm, the Tudor Shield logo in it. I always love this little detail on this watch is the, the fact that the shield's part of the clasp itself. Watch features a 60 click bezel. So those clicks. The case back, very minimal writing. So why did I pick this watch? Well, I chose this watch for a couple reasons. One was uh, I wanted to try out Tudor for the first time and see how I liked it. The other two is I'm a sucker for blue. The third thing is that it was priced accordingly. Nice three and a half to $4,000 price range. It was a good, uh, good price. Just there's a... a it fills a, a void in the market 
in the sense of what Rolex used to be as well. So this kind of gives you a vintage Submariner feel without the vintage Submariner price. Obviously we know what those are going for. The equivalent, let's say probably 6538 is going for a lot of money. No, I think I saw one was like $500,000. Who knows why that one was costing that much, but it's crazy. Vintage Rolex is crazy. So this gives you kind of that feel. Here you go. Let's unscrew the crown. Let's until it wind. Very buttery smooth wind. There it goes. Watch has no date, so it only has one position when you pull out the crown. Hacks the second hand, move the hands around. All the way around to 1010, 1008. There we go. Screw the crown back in. I polish sides on the case, polish sides on the bracelet, brush tops. This watch is a beauty, especially once the light hits it. And once you catch the glare from the light, it's insane. The writing disappears. You get to see the hands stand out. The markers really don't stand out. It's the polish sections on the hands that really jumps out at you. No. As you can see, I wasn't really nice to the watch. I really did wear it. I wore this watch everywhere. I wore it to the beach, jet skiing, to the pool. I really wore this watch and put it through its paces. My only gripe with this watch has been the bracelet, like sizing the bracelet itself. Since it only features three micro adjustment holes, I really couldn't find a good fit. I even bought the Uncle Seiko half link and it still fits kind of loose. So it's been a, quite the mission to get it to, uh, to fit, size it right and all that stuff. And the other thing is the this clasp itself does not pivot. The end link does not pivot. I'm going to show you something to make the comparison a little bit easier to understand. This bottom link on the end that connects the actual clasp does not pivot. The swing arm is too long. So if you have a smaller wrist, it does not really wrap around your wrist just because of that. Here you go. I'm going to throw it on the wrist real quick. Put this down for a sec. We got the seam master. I'm set that off back there. There it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist. As you can see down the barrel shot, the case fits very nice. Here we go, let's adjust the camera a little bit for this. A little bit more, there we go. But see, if you if I put it on correctly, see the little gap down there, it doesn't really wrap around the wrist just because this ass end link does not or link sorry does not pivot but overall if i've tried to find a good strap i've thrown it on nato straps leather straps i'll throw in pictures at the end of this video and then the other thing i'm going to do for you guys is show you this versus my 14060m this is a, a this watch is another a good watch to replace this watch in the sense of its price too because this is already going for over ten grand. So and then the other things you could obviously say it's not the same build quality. You could argue the Tudor's better, obviously, from just the close around the clasp, the solid bracelet, the solid end links. You could argue the Tudor's a much better watch, just based on that alone. You know, here's the, the bezel on the sub, so you can compare it to that. Yeah, 
Here's the sub features that 120 click bezel as opposed to 60 click on the tutor. Or rattle stop uh, bracelet from the hollow center links, hollow clasp, hollow end links. Much more solid product. So off to the side real quick. Let's take a quick look at what's left in the box. So in the box you have the warranty card. You have the warranty booklet and the user manual. A little flap at the back of the box. And we have our little tutor hang tag. It's just like the Rolex ones. <laughs> 